Hello everyone, my name is Cherie, and today is March 17th, 2020, St. Patrick's Day. I am at home because Santa Cruz just ordered everyone to shelter in place for 22 days. It started last night at 12.01 a.m., and it goes until um, April 7th. So, I have 22 days that I can get some writing done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Um, so I actually made myself a a schedule. Oops, schedule right there, and that has all the things I want to do within a 10-hour day. So basically, I'm replacing the 10 hours from when I leave for work to when I get home. I'm replacing those hours with things that I've been meaning to get done. And uh, those things include, well, I, I usually walk to work. So uh, it's a two-mile walk there and a two-mile walk back. So I'm going to be missing that exercise. So in the morning, I'm going to work out for an hour. And then in the evening, I'm going to do yoga and meditation for an hour. Sorry about that. Just got a telemarketing call. Um, I know they should be like not having telemarketers all in one place making phone calls too. I think, I honestly think, the whole country should shelter in place for now uh, so we can get a handle on the spread of the COVID-19 virus. But anyway, back to what I'm going to do for today or for every day for the next three weeks. Um, so I'm going to work on screenwriting. I have that marked for an hour a day, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm also going to be revising scripts. That's for another hour. And then working on videos that I have. I have this music video I've been meaning to finish for the longest time. Um, so I need to finish that one. I have a bunch of stuff I shot for the My Silicon Valley series, which I need to edit together. And I, I'll have this video today. I've been working for the past month on a Parasite screenplay review video. It's going to be really long, uh, really in-depth, because that script has a lot to it. So that's going to take me a while to do that one. In addition, I'm going to read a screenplay a day, so that will take about two hours. Um, today will be Frozen Walt, which is one that I co-wrote with someone, and tomorrow will be Dumpster Donna, and then after that I will start reading the um, Best Original Screenplay winner scripts watching movies. Uh, you know, if you're going to be a script writer, you have to read scripts and you have to watch movies. So I do have, I have 24 movies on my shelves just waiting to be watched. I had checked out a bunch at the library as soon as the, as soon as Santa Clara County had two cases of COVID-19. I thought, you know, I just need to like rent a bunch of stuff right now. And um, Santa Cruz County hadn't had any cases yet. So I felt relatively safe getting those from the library. What I did was I wiped them down with uh, alcohol wipes when I got them. So um, I have a, a, a stack of movies and a lot of these movies are ones that I didn't know about. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who review movies and put out their top 10 lists and things like that. And uh, there are some really obscure movies I'd never heard of that people just love. So I checked a bunch of those out. And reading books because I still have that stack of books that I showed you in my video from December. And I am going to read for one hour every day and get rid of some of those <laughs> books. So it's gonna be a, um, a creative time. I have plenty to do. I will not go stir crazy in the house. Now, as a side note, um, am I reading any books about you know virus scares or watching any movies about virus scares? No, I've actually already seen <laughs> some of those and read some of those. Um, if you're interested, uh, the original one I remember was the Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton, uh, which was later also turned into a movie. And then Stephen King's The Stand. I remember the first part of that book just showing how a virus can so quickly spread. And The Stand is like the, my favorite book that he wrote. I haven't read all of them, but I, I really love The Stand. Oh, and then The Hot Zone. The Hot Zone was based on actual events uh, about the Ebola virus. So those three books are, are uh, 
books I'd recommend if you want to read that kind of stuff right now. And as for movies, okay, there were two that kind of really were about this topic. I'm not, don't, you know, the zombie movies, the viruses are not going to turn you into a zombie or a vampire, okay? So, you know, just, if you want to watch those, fine. But if you want movies that are more in line with what's really going on right now, there was the Dustin Hoffman on, I believe, um, Rene Russo movie called um, Outbreak. And then there was also a movie called Contagion that Gwyneth Paltrow was in, but she dies. I don't remember who the lead star is, sorry. I just read an interview with the screenwriter of that one, and he had had medical doctors involved with it when he was writing it because he wanted to get things right. So if you want to see things that are correct about just like what people go through and, and what they have to wear and how viruses work and stuff like that. Contagion is the movie. Outbreak, there are a lot of problems. I actually watched a video where someone who worked at uh, either WHO or the CDC was, was commenting on it. Oh, no, you wouldn't do that. Um, oh, they just did that and that's wrong. And, you know, so, you know, take that one with a grain of salt, although it is entertaining. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well. Um, I hope you're practicing all the safety precautions if you cannot uh, just stay at home. And um, yeah, we'll get through this. I'll see you in the next video.